Hello everyone, this is Brady with Lewis Motor Company and today we're taking a look at our 2002 Ford F450 fiber splicing box boom truck. It has a Telsta 33 foot working height hydraulic boom. It only has 78,000 original miles on a Triton V10 gasoline engine which starts right up and sounds great. You can hear that now. It does have an automatic transmission and overall everything looks like it is working. Now it is an older truck, so it's got some small cosmetic issues, but nothing major, nothing stopping this truck from going down the road. It just does have some age on it, but the miles are right. The boom operates as it should. It's got good tires all the way around. What more could you ask for? So it does have a box on the back. So it's a fiber splicing box with splice doors front and the side. It does have an air conditioning unit as well as a rear mounted generator. All the tires in good shape. Looks like these fronts are fairly new. Frame and underside has some surface rust, kind of what you'd expect for an O2, but nothing crazy, no major rot or anything, no areas of concern. Looking underneath here, you'll see the frame again, just some light surface rust. You could knock that off and put some undercoating on it, make it look really pretty. We didn't think it was necessary. But the good thing about this truck is it's got hardly any body rust. Absolutely a really nice truck underneath. Cab corners, rocker panels all in good shape. We do have a small tear here in the bench seat. Uh, so it's just a work model, crank windows, vinyl floors, vinyl seats, but very simple. No frills with this one. The steering wheel looks like it's been taped over. 77,614 miles at the time of this video. It's a low mileage truck. Here's our controls for our rear bucket controls and some strobe lights. AM, FM radio, heat and air conditioning. Final floor is a nice black color, but nothing fancy in here, but it is a work truck and it does what it's supposed to do. Looking on the box here, you'll see the previous company, the letters down the side. This was an old Optimum truck. It belonged to them and we are the, or they were the only owner of this truck. And as you can see, Robert's high in the sky there. Thing operates as it should. It's an older bucket truck, but it does what it's supposed to do. I get questions all the time. When will you have a cheap, affordable bucket truck under 25 grand? Well, here it is. And everyone I've had like this sells rather quickly. Fiber splicing's hot right now. This is a good truck to get your feet wet with spare truck or just a truck you can go out in so it does have a generator off the back it's a honda rv generator and it does start it needed a jump start so the battery is dead and it does need some tlc uh, this coolant bottle is cracked as you can see and the exhaust was slightly loud so just figure that does need some tlc but with today's inverter generators which are not too expensive it's probably best to just replace that with one of those and it's super quiet but as you can see the boom doing everything it's supposed to do it's got upper and lower controls and they both function as they should it's got a rear step bumper looks like it did have some good paint at one time but uh, it's flaking now but there's no major rust this is just kind of delamination here um, it's still very solid. As you can see, we've got our splice door and our steps going up into the bucket. On this side, we've got another splice door and a little work light on the side. And uh, looks like a thing uh, for, an, for a ladder on top, ladder rack. But the thing's going around town, like I said, it's a bucket truck that does what it's supposed to do. It's an older truck, but it's got low mileage. It's in really nice condition, the cab shows very well it's a presentable truck so you'll notice the box has some oxidation it's not perfect but again it's an o2 we'll take a look inside here now when i did start the generator the air conditioning unit was tested it's pretty cold here uh, but it felt like it was working and two out of the three lights are working that one there is missing a bulb but the lights were working I also powered the gener or the inverter on at the same time and it does click on. You can see we've got some surface rust in the floor. Probably just take these mats out and if you wanted to just knock off the rust there, just the surface rust and paint it if you wanted. So you don't have a whole lot of headroom in here. I'd say it's a little over five feet. I think it's five foot two inches, but you do have a splice table. We've got some 
drawers here. We got a little window, splice lab. So it is a nice splice lab. Out of the older units that I've had, this one's in really nice condition for what it is. Got an AC unit up there, some shelves. Here's our splice door, some tooling. It does have outlets throughout. And uh, overall, really nice inside here. You know, it's older, so kind of expect some things, but so that does click on as you hear and sounds like it's working. There's our data plate there. Overall, it looks like everything's pretty solid, structurally sound and uh, relatively clean in here. Looks like it does have some books as well. But not too bad inside. It looks like it's uh, pretty much ready to go to work. Fill your stuff up in there and go to work. But it's a good looking truck. Like I said, the cab frame and all is in good condition. It's a solid, solid truck with only 78,000 miles on it. You can see the boom is working correctly. Doesn't doing everything it's supposed to do. Let's take a look at the tires again on this side. These are fairly new tires. I believe we did actually put these on ourselves. Light service rust on the frame. We'll take a look back here as well. Looks like these backs are new or fairly new. The insides, I don't think we did the insides of these, but uh, good tires all the way around nonetheless. But looking underneath here again, you'll see some surface rust, some light surface rust, but no major rot or anything crazy. It's in good shape. We'll take a look under this rocker panel and cab corner, but it's in really nice shape. The, the doors, there's not a lot of rust. I know these trucks we're known for that having rust on the cab corners and doors but this one's in really good shape the body's in nice shape if you wanted to like i said knock the rust off the frame surface rust and spray it with some undercoating and have a really nice truck or just leave it alone and don't worry about it it's a good looking truck it's a good running truck as you saw the boom works and the generator does start like i said it needs some work so we're selling that basically not running it does run but just figure to replace that or spend some money at it. Uh, but it seems like the air conditioning's working. The power inverter in the back seems like it's working. It's got some lights, some outlets back there, and it's ready to rock and roll, do some fiber splicing. You could literally hop in this thing and splice tomorrow. But this market's hot right now. Like I said, I get this question all the time. When do you will you have a $25,000 splice lab? Well, here it is. It's a little less than that even. It's a good truck, it's got low mileage, it's an older truck, it seems like a good truck, it's very presentable, fairly clean, and it's ready to rock and roll. You can chuck this truck out for sale on eBay, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a message, I'd be happy to help you. I can ship this truck throughout the United States, call me and I'll give you a quote on that. We are Lewis Motor Company, we're located in Clarksville, Maryland, which is just outside of Baltimore, Maryland. If you have any questions on this truck or any other trucks, Please do not hesitate to call me. This is the only fiber splicing truck I have right now. I have a long waiting list for a truck like this, so I have a feeling it's gonna be sold quickly. So if you're watching this video, do not hesitate. Give me a call, let's get this thing sold. Thank you guys for watching.